Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. Today we're doing evaluating expressions. This is a worksheet from mathdrills.com. Make sure to check it out. There will be a link in the description below. So evaluating expressions, you'll notice that if this is middle school math for you, this may be your first time seeing letters. And you're probably wondering, what are letters doing in math? I thought math was only numbers. Well, the whole premise of using letters is that we're filling in an unknown value. So a question mark is kind of what you should think letters as, as you begin this process. So there's an unknown amount, which I highlighted the question mark here, plus five equals six. Well, we obviously know that that unknown amount is one. So one plus five equals six. So some unknown amount. A blank can also be used lots of times. So we have a blank plus a number plus five equals six. What's that blank? And that's a one. A variable just takes the place of that. So we could have a, for example, or the most commonly used one is x. And then we can say plus 5 equals 6. And x is still equal to 1. x's value is 1. We know that 1 plus 5 equals 6. And that's why we use letters. So you're thinking, well, I, I mean, it's not real clear why we use letters. I mean, why can't we just use blanks? Because you, there's a lot of different letters, so we can have multiple unknowns. The, all the unknowns won't always be the same. And we can differentiate between the values by using letters of the alphabet. So let's go ahead and start. In this case, we're just evaluating. That means we're going to be plugging in uh, a number for these letters and then figuring out what the answer is. Okay. So for this, we know that C minus C. Okay. So some unknown amount minus some other, that same unknown amount. Okay. And we're told that that amount is six. What we need to do first, step one, is rewrite. Okay, so we are going to rewrite. Instead of writing C, we know C is equal to 6. We're going to say 6 minus 6. And the second step is evaluate. That means find the answer. Okay, so we're going to evaluate. And I spelled that wrong. Don't judge me. Evaluate. All right, so this is just 6 minus 6, and that's equal to 0. And there's my answer. Simple as that. Okay, so first step, we're going to rewrite it. Second answer and that was a terrible job highlighting, but I hope you guys get the point. Second, second step is we're going to evaluate. We're going to find the answer. Okay, so one like this, A equals 7. So instead of writing A, we're going to write 7, and we're going to keep the other part the same. So minus 2, and that equals 5, okay? Again, all of these, you're just plugging the value. This one, instead of 6 minus C, we're going to write 6 minus 5, and that equals 1. As you can see, that's my first step, and there's my second step. Okay, and I can highlight this just to show you that it's not part of the problem. That was a horrible uh, highlight job. There we go. So that's equal to 1. Let me change colors here. I just like to change it up. Let's try this purple out. Now, here's a step that I'm guessing some of you are going to have trouble with. I'm going to start with number 3, actually. So those were all number... Oh, I got 6 and 11 done. Whoops. So number 3, we have C times C. That dot means multiplication, if you haven't seen that yet. So now we really have 4 times 4. That's my first step. I'm rewriting it. And the second step, I evaluate. I find the answer, and it's 16. But what about something like this? What does this 6y represent? What do I What do? I do? What I do, anytime there's a number directly next to a letter, it's multiplication. So technically, this could be 6 times y. And then we fill in the value. We substitute that value. We plug it in. We rewrite it. And we get 6 times 9, and that, of course, is 54. So that one's kind of an additional step if you're not comfortable with the multiplication. And over here, same deal. So we have 8z. All we need to do is plug in uh, 6 for z. We're going to rewrite it with 6 instead. 8 times 6, 48, and that's our answer. So all of these, it's just the same things, even with division. We're going to replace that value. We have 8 divided by 2, and that is equal to 4, and that's it. So it's pretty straightforward once you understand that all you're doing is we're rewriting it and then figuring out the new value, okay? So that's all there is to this video. If you need a couple more problems done, let me know. Leave a comment if you need something else done for any sort of math topic, whether it's middle school, high school, you name it, and I'll be here for you, and I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.